Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I've got 36 Bolos coming your way. These are items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. These items all come from my featured members of my Bolo Buddies channel. This channel, I am gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And we are gonna get started. If you're new here, my name is Courtney. Thank you for being here. I basically share about Bolo items on this channel. I have all different types of videos, so be sure to check out my other content. All right, the first item here comes from One Stop Shop 59. And all of the eBay store links and the channels, if they have a YouTube channel, are linked down in the description of the video. Be sure to go down and check out those channels, reseller channels, and um, eBay stores. Wow. House Mouse, if you guys don't know, this can be a big money bolo. It just depends. Um, I, they do, do, they do range from bread and butter to big money, but some of the house mouse, I have a whole video on uh, rubber wood mounted stamps, the top three to look for. And this is one of the brands. So I don't know if this is underpriced or if they looked up comps and this is one that's not rare, that's more common and goes for less. I'm guessing since it's still available in the store and people search for these like crazy, that this is probably one that is more common. But House Mouse, if you see those stamps, definitely look them up. Sorry, that one just caught my eye. I wasn't planning on talking about that. But um, wood-mounted rubber stamps, some of them can be big money. There's one that I was over at Donatella Bottolino's auction, her uh, YouTube auction, and somebody was talking about um, the ones with the recipes on them. And I cannot remember what brand they are, but put in the search wood-mounted or rubber mounted wood stamps and recipe, and it'll pull it right up. Search high to low and you'll see the brand and then you'll know what to look for. Okay, sorry, right off the bat on a tangent about a bolo. Hey, you know, that's how we learn, right? Okay, so the first item, this one came out of, okay, so I guess they pick up their sister-in-law's trash and they take it and they um, get rid of it for her. And this was in the trash. So that was a fantastic trash pick, right? Sold this for $211.65 plus shipping. And this was going to the dump. So very cool bolo there. Oh, I didn't tell you what it was. It's um, Adobe Acrobat 9 professional uh, or pro professional for Windows. So yeah. The next item is this Madame Alexander Wizard of Oz State Fair Omaha Basket Doll Balloon. Here it is. Check it out. Would you have ever guessed? This one sold for $132.20 plus shipping. This came from um, about six years ago. It's been sitting in their money pile and they paid $5 for it. So just sitting there waiting to be listed and sold for $132.20. That is awesome. You guys get those money piles listed. This one is a vintage California Emporium California mink stool. Um, it's real fur. Now, this one took a long time to sell, and she said she was very, very happy to see this one go. It did go um, for $110.23, and it took four years to sell. I feel like um, fur. The market's kind of down on fur, but again, I don't sell a lot of it and I don't do a lot of vintage clothing. So those of you that do vintage clothing, let us know in the comments, is fur kind of a slow long tail selling item at this time? It's not really trending. Any feedback would be great. Butterfly hustles. All right. Carol has an amazing YouTube channel. She does a lot of thrifting videos where she takes you into the thrift store with you with her. And she shows you items she buys and how she sells them. So check her out on her channel. And she's a bolo finder. Look at this dress. Vintage Patra 
cottagecore dress from the 1980s. Look at that. Is that not amazing? You guys, she got this at a thrift store. And she did take a best offer for $100, but she got it for seven at a thrift store. And I'm kind of like that too. If I get a good offer that comes in, I will go ahead and take it if I have not much in it. Um, just a, an amazing item there. And a thrift store find. This briefcase, she said she paid under 10 for it, and it was at a thrift store. And it's an Atlas of Philadelphia right here. Vintage brown leather business travel briefcase. And this one sold for $149.18 on a 15% off sale. And the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this small Chillmark pewter figurine. And she bought quite a few of these. This one she paid $7 for at the thrift store. And it sold for a best offer of $42. Dawn Poland. Um, is what it says here. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. So definitely worth looking up anything that is marked on the bottom like that. It's really easy usually to look up and you can get those quick comps and decide if it's worth your money. Jack's Treasures, they do star storage auctions, unboxings, reselling, and an occasional cat. So go check them out. And they sold... These Briar horses from 2004. You guys should see some of the stuff they pull out of these storage units. Definitely check out their channel. Um, $5 at a yard sale. And these sold for $156 plus shipping. Now, Briar horses are not all created equal. Some are bread and butter and some go for crazy money. You definitely have to do your research on those. This is a vintage Marine Bulldogs bomber jacket from uh, 1989. It's a 3XL. This came out of a storage unit and it sold for $56.25. And the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item here sold um, for $410. Nine bids. It looks like they're signed here. And they went through where you send them in and they get authenticated. <laughs> Here, authenticity guarantee. And it passed, everything passed. And these came out of a storage unit. So that is fantastic. $410, nine bids. It says Nike Up Tempo Atlanta Hawks uh, 2006 game sample, Joe Johnson. The next item here comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, and he has a YouTube channel. He sells on multiple platforms. He uses List Perfectly, like me. If you guys don't know about List Perfectly, you have definitely got to go check out my videos showing you how to use List Perfectly. Um, I start on eBay and then I cross post to the other platforms. There's also a catalog format that I'm hoping to get a video for you guys soon. But um, if you want to try it, after you check out the demo video, uh, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. Um, Stuart from Franklin Hill Ventures, he has booths. I think he's up to three now, if I remember correctly. But he has um, content on his channel that talks about that. And again, he's selling on multiple platforms. So he's got some List Perfectly videos also. So check that out. And you guys, List Perfectly is amazing. I've been using it since 2019. If you are new here, um, you haven't heard me talk about it. If you've been on my channel for a while, you guys know I love it. All right, this is a Furio Home Pasta Bowl. Um, now, what's cool about this, and I have done this before also, I will buy things in sets. And because I don't want to ship them out all in a big box together, I will sell them individually, which is what he did here. But if I remember correctly, I think the same person bought all of them. Yes. So he got these $1.50 each at the thrift store. And he ended up taking a best offer for all five of $60. So he ended up having to ship them together anyway. But uh, I don't know. It does happen when you do multiples, um, multi uh, quantity items, people will buy all of them if they want the set. And it's great also if they don't want the set and somebody just needs a replacement piece. So, so it's a good way to list. I do that a lot 
when I do breakables, which is hardly ever. A uh, lot of 22 Masonic Shriner lapel pins and cufflinks. And now one thing that I don't like about eBay, and there's not many things that I don't like about eBay. I love eBay. But when uh, you take a best offer on an auction style item, so let's say he had $25 or best offer on this item. Well, somebody offered him $60 and he took it. But when you look up this sold comp, it's going to show you that it sold for $25. So it's kind of like when somebody takes a best offer on something, you can't see the offer they took. So it looks like he sold it for $25, but in all actuality, he took a best offer of $60 free shipping on these. So, and quite possibly a reseller bought this. Maybe there's something special in here that he didn't know about or a collector. Now he's also selling on Depop. And he is FH Ventures over there on Depop. And he sold this belt for $35. He got it at an estate sale cleanout. So his cost of goods was about a dollar. So he's all over the board selling on a bunch of platforms. So you will definitely learn from his channel. This is Groundhog eBay store. Again, we've got lots of hard goods, lots of unique, different items. Look at this. Look at this mug. Isn't that funny? Um, I saw that the other day and I kind of laughed a little, snickered, snickered. Is that a word? All right. This kangaroo, how darling is this? This is Melissa and Doug. It's a 36 inch giant plush kangaroo. And this came from a flea market. She paid 10 bucks for it and it sold for $69.99 plus shipping. And it's got the little baby in there. I think they call it a Joey. Is that right? The next item that sold is this J. Scott Campbell Shades of Grey sketchbook. So it's a sketchbook here. And this came from a thrift store, $3 cost of goods, and it took a best offer of $40 on that, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage pinup Glamour Girl figurine ceramic MCM, which is mid-century modern ashtray dish, Shafford Hand. This came from High Bid, a High Bid auction, paid $8 for it. It sold within 24 hours for $79.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from Shop O Rama. And again, really cool store. Lots of unique items. And we are going to talk about some of these. All right. The, the first item is this Easter die cut, which is just fantastic. She sent this over to me and I was like, Love it. Love it. Love it. So cool. I love these vintage die cuts. They're just amazing. And some of them go for crazy money like this one. It's a complete set of six from the 1930s. They're 14 inch Easter decor. She auctioned this and it went for $202.50 plus shipping. She got this on Facebook marketplace for $10. The next item is this practical reflexology book. Uh, massage therapy from 2006. This came off of Facebook. She got it free and sold it for $145 plus shipping. How amazing is that? And it even has writing in it. So that's a good, great idea to, you know, check the pages and just let people know that it does have writing. And the last item. So, um, Apparently, this one went viral on TikTok, um, kind of like the Squishmallows, but it says, I love you a whole lot. And I guess it's kind of a controversial plush, which is probably why it's selling for more. They, She said they're size 6 inch and 10 inch, and she has sold four of the small ones for $90 each, and she sold a big one for $124. So... Um, it's a bolo. All right. The next item, money making mama here. She is the dirt cheap gal. She goes into a store. It's called dirt cheap and she buys things in bulk and then she sells them in small lots and makes really good money. So I'm going to tell you what I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Um, not tons and tons of content, but definitely worth watching when she does put out reseller content. So go sub her up. All right, so the first item is this Old Spice, six Old Spice um, musk scented deodorant. And she sold two of these for $49.99 each for each lot, 
free shipping on those. She paid 99 cents each for these. So cost of goods is a little over $6 with a um, tax. And so six bucks into $49.99 is pretty fantastic. And that's retail arbitrage. 20 new sealed lot of Reach Mint waxed dental floss. She has sold six of these for $29.99 plus shipping. She paid 10 cents each for these. So her cost of goods is $2. So again, just flipping in bulk, kind of like the people that do the pallets. This is kind of that, but she's going into a retail store, a discount store and buying them. This also came from the same place. Lot of two um, and Dalu Naturals Night Repair Face Cream. This one she got um, for a dollar and she sold it for a best offer of $23 free shipping. The next one comes from Flippin' It Good. And if you guys are not following him, if you want to learn about retail arbitrage, this is your guy. He flips stuff for amazing money that he is picking up at Burlington, TJ Maxx, Ross, um, those types of stores. But he's recently been dipping his feet in to lost cargo pallets and stuff like that. So stay tuned for more on that. But let's talk about his first bolo here. Nike men's size six and a half. So they are a small size. They are, they sell for less, the smaller sizes because it's a men's six and a half. Uh, these sold for uh, $230. I think he said they go for 300 or so in the bigger sizes. And he got these at Ross for $29.99 plus shipping. The next item here are a pair of jeans. They're a gold, A-G-O-L-D-E. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Women's uh, loose fit distressed jeans. These came in a lost cargo palette. So his cost of goods, basically he takes everything in the palette, divides it out by the number of items he listed, and it came to about $8.50 and he sold these for $140. And the next item is going to blow your mind. Anderson Bean, men's Western boots. <laughs> these also came in the pallet. He sold these for $450. And he's got approximately $9 in these. That is amazing. So he does have one pallet video. And I think he's looking to do more of those. So definitely check out his channel there. Yard Sales and Dreams, um, Bolo Finder, and she is trying to get her hours in. So you guys, if you can go watch a couple of her videos, number one, you'll thank me because she has excellent content, but she needs hours. Um, so to get monetized on YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours, and that's a big number of hours. So if you guys can go watch a few of her videos, um, that would be awesome. And I'm sure you'll subscribe once you watch, but she is doing awesome. So show her some love over there. This little, my little pony, um, just an amazing find. She got this at a thrift store for $3 and it sold for $255 plus shipping. So it's a rare vintage, new old stock, my little pony, MLP, Daisy sweet blue perfume puff on card. Again, right here is going to help you figure out which pony it is. This one has different hair. It's more um, uh, textured and not shiny and smooth. So never seen one like that, I don't think. She also sold this uh, Kentucky phone directory. Um, and Noel Farm Girl Scavenger also sells phone directories. So um, there can be big money. Noel's, I think, sold in the hundreds. This one, I don't think is as old. This one's only from the 80s. Noelle's were older. Uh, she got this at a junk store for $5 and took a best offer of $49 plus shipping. The next item she sold are these vintage Barney shoes. So what I want to draw your attention to is the condition. There's a stain. I mean, they're frayed. They're not in great condition. They are vintage but they're Barney and somebody wanted them. She got these at a yard sale for 50 cents and took a best offer of $30 on those. So let me know in the comments, would you have picked those up or would you have walked right on past them? The next item comes from Philly Flipper, whose channel is just, 
exploding right now. He is getting great views. His content is amazing. He has awesome editing skills, but he's at over 8,000 subscribers now. So he's going into auction houses and getting really, really great deals. But his videos are educational and he tells you how he lists everything and um, what things sell for. He, he just has really good content. Um, he is also a moderator of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So if you're in my Facebook group, um, he's one of the moderators. Check him out. And if you're not in my Facebook group, why not? Um, the link is down in the description and you guys can uh, click on that and come over to the Facebook group to see more Bolo items. All right. But this is a vintage Sweden um, Gantofita wall plaque. And he got this at a yard sale for, or no, wait, I'm sorry. Which one is this? No, this one came from an auction house and he had about a dollar in it, you guys, and sold it for a hundred bucks plus shipping. So definitely an interesting item, right? My goodness. Okay, Raggedy Ann and Andy, wind up talking alarm clock. It's time to call our friends. Got this at the auction house for $13 and sold it for 90 plus shipping. Okay. Lilliput Lane, the King's Arms. And this is a cottage. And he got this at a yard sale for $5 and he sold it for $125. On Facebook, those are all Facebook Facebook market sales. And Paul Philly Flipper sells on multiple platforms as well. The next item comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. And they just recently starting, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, started doing what sold videos. And they have really fantastic video content for being so new and just learning how to do it great editing and great bolo items. So go check them out. They are a non-profit. They have a um, rescue farm. And I did a whole featured members video on that. If you want to learn more about that and see a whole bunch of bolos that they sold, go check that out. All right. She sold. Let's try this again. Here we go. 1959 Alden electric table lamp, chalkware signed Alden lamp products. And this one came from an auction, paid $5 for it, and it sold for $55 plus shipping. So really cool chalkware piece. The next item is this Jesse Wilcox Smith embroidered Cruel vintage. Um, it's already, it's basically um, somebody has uh, like cross stitch, only it's Cruel. Cruel, I think is how you say it. So somebody already made this and you can sell these finished and people will buy them, but you can see as I'm zooming in here, really cool piece. Uh, these do sell, there's purses and different things that you can pick up. This one sold for $50 best offer paid less than a dollar at an auction for that. The next item that sold is this vintage 1960s robot coop food processor, processor um, with accessories. This one was donated and ended up taking a best offer of $60 plus shipping on that. The next item comes from a little bluebird, no YouTube channel. Um, she, I shouldn't say that. She did a little bit of YouTube, but not. Um, she'd rather me show her eBay store. So that is what we're going to look at here. Lots of great items, lots of hard goods, really cool stuff. Some clothing also, so check her out. She's linked below. And she sold this Kodak carousel projector. Ended up um, selling this the same day she listed it for $86.30 plus shipping, and she got it in the free pile. This one really surprised me. Roller Rabbit Pajamas, size extra small. I don't know what's special about these, but something because they sold uh, for in 24 hours for $69.70. She got these at the bins, the Goodwill bins for 50 cents. The next item is another needlepoint framed picture. It's finished. So somebody has made this. And this one, she said, was sitting in her money pile 
forever <laughs> and finally listed it and came from a thrift store for $2.99 and it sold for $82.29 plus shipping. I think I already said that. But yeah, sitting in the money pile. How many people have a huge money pile? I have like money mountains. I think I got money mountain from Chosen Goods Reseller. But um, I got so much stuff I need to list. But I love to source. If you love to source, put in the comments, I love to source. All right, you guys, this is a featured members video. Basically, again, they have joined memberships for perks to be in the videos. My channel is completely free. The memberships are for perks. If you'd like to check that out, there's more information down in the description of the video. Thank you all so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And thanks for watching.